And, uh, there, well, there it is. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. Where today, we have done it. I mean, I, 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 was, I forgot I opened the game up and thought, wait, oh no. And, oh no. <laughs> because I needed to uh, show you guys that when the Antarctic felt back. And, well, oh, sorry, no Depedosaurus. That's, no, no Dosaurus. Oh my god, <laughs> getting ahead of ourselves. So, this is Rod we as well as Nodosaurus. So that was the most recent tournament creature, um, and I'm sure not too long in the future, we'll get the aquatic uh, creature as well. So, of course, of course, because we have 23,000 uh, bucks, I'm going to uh, speed them all up, and also uh, get it level 40 in this episode. So if you want to see what it's like level 40, I mean, you can always just, if you've unlocked it, if you've been lucky enough to unlock it, then you can easily just click on it and then it'll show you what it is. Um, I think somebody actually managed to get it and uh, sent me a picture on Twitter uh, of what it was. And I was like, oh, that's quite nice of you, thank you, but you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so we've got herbivores. Uh, it should be, also it's really cold in here. Oh, wow. It's amazing, I'm breathing in loads because it's cold air. It's like, oh, whoo, irritate me throat. So yeah, I think last time we... Um, I left you guys, it was, um, I was like, had a bad throat, um, but a lot better now, I've recovered, um, after the re long recording sessions of Assassin's Creed, but anyway, here's Nodosaur, so at level 40, 2,700 health and 844 attack, making it pretty decent, not amazing, pretty decent, uh, and it costs 1,600, we're gonna have to do 8, so that is a total of, uh, 10,000 bucks, so it's gonna take us down to 13, I am okay, in doing that, but of course, seeing as we're gonna do that, I may as well do it one by one. Okay, uh, never mind. I may as well do it one by one. There's Antarctic Belt. That's right, because I used it for a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, because the thing is, Ludia put out like um, a little teaser image of Antarctic Belt, which is basically, I think, just the back of its uh, tail, I think it was. It wasn't very good, and I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to make my own. Um, so here's no Dosaurus. Um, Looks a little bit different to the one in Jurassic World Alive. Yeah, looks a lot different. Um, I mean, the colorings are... The, the colorings are about the same, I'd say. So let's feed it! Uh, level 10, 731 health and 228 attack. So level 10 tournament creatures, of course, not as good as VIP creatures. But if you knew that, well, they'll just reiterate it for you. Uh, there's some... Um, uh. Food. <laughs> no source means knobbed lizard. So, um, yeah, that's very nice. Um, I like how they were like, well, we're gonna have to say knobbed. Knob, knob, knob. <laughs> okay, let's go into here. So it costs 6,600. So in comparison to the Pachyrhinosaurus, um, it has more attack and more health. So it's better in every respect and it costs 150 less. We'll look at Enosaurus. Uh, Enosaurus uh, has a thousand extra attack, uh, sorry, health, um, but mm, half the attack. So I would say, I mean, the only difference that's bad is the fact that it gains less coin over time if it's just left for 24 hours. I mean, in six hours, it gains 16 million, right? Already, sorry. Is it 1,624,000? Yeah, whereas Pachyrhinosaurus gathers 2 million. But if you were to check your game every six hours, then you're gonna double. So even coin-wise, it's better. So it's better than Pachyrhinosaurus, it's arguably better than Enosaurus. And what about Ehrlichosaurus? Um, even arguably better than Ehrlichosaurus because it's le it, like way more attack. Um, so, wow, out of all the herbivores that are tournament creatures, it seems like Nodosaurus is definitely up there. Um, which means that, you know, we're, we're, I mean, it's going to get a fusion, right? It's going to get a fusion with Apatosaurus and uh, Notosaurus. So those two are going to be put together. And that is a tournament creature and a VIP creature. Meaning that it's going to be one hell of a powerful um, dinosaur uh, that's going to have health and uh, loads of attack. Because Apatosaurus, as we know, has... It's basically just all health. I think at level... 40 it has 7,000 health, maybe, maybe, maybe more, I'm not sure, it could be, could be more than seven. Hold on, I'll just have a quick look, because I'm, I'm, oh wait, it won't be here, that's right. Um, I must have it out though, right, that is 602 more, 
Apatosaurus. Where are you? I think there, there it is. So it has, there's 7,000 health. Okay. So, I mean, for a, just a regular creature, sort of, that isn't a hybrid, 7,000 health, that's a lot. Even, again, arguably, um, 700 attack is also a lot. But for us, you know, for what it is, being a VIP creature really isn't that much. So you also have Dinocheris and uh, Kendrosaurus. So they both have... No, well, Dinocheris has more attack. But they're kind, it's kind of like they're in a different league. Because they're, they're a lot cheaper. Um, and one's all out attack and the other one's uh, mostly... Kendrosaurus is pretty darn decent, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So that should be the last one. Bringing us down to... Oh my god, 11,000. Oh no, never mind. We, we gotta buy one more. Gotta buy one more. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. I could have saved so much time. And there it is. And not only that, but we have also um, gotta speed it up in the incubators. Incub incubator. So we got... Sorry if I did that. <laughs> I was like, this would be an interesting sound to do with that. Oh, what? Hey, what just happened? I just spent 200 bucks opening up a second incub- Oh no, it's, what, what's in there? Oh, damn it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Didn't I- Did I just waste 200 bucks? On a Nodosaurus, and then it didn't work. Are you serious? Oh no, never mind. Okay, oh, it's uh, good, good. <laughs> but it wasn't there on the on the graphic though. And if I was to evolve again, there you go. It says it wants 200. That's interesting. Hmm. Because if I click on this, it just shows this one. So you know what? We may as well speed that up. Oh, and it's the first time. So in my spare time, I've been working on getting Diplotator to level 40 and Gorgosaurus, I think it is. So there you go. 100,000. Level 40 Diplotator. 1,691 health and. 584 attack for a level for a rare basically pretty well really really good um one of the best creatures in the game definitely uh, i'd say a lot of the red hybrids are really good like um conoraptor and deployed i mean look at that thing it looks so good it looks so evil nah. <laughs> right i'll definitely get Ooh, even like it in this actually Look how it spikes pierce itself, though. Uh, so we're going to have to feed... Well, just evolve another one, please, first time. It's okay. It's okay. As long as it's not... doesn't do it too often. Ah, uh, and I've spoken too soon. It's not like I had to, like, kind of glitch the friggin' thing in order to get loads of bucks. Well, it wasn't the glitching. It was the Indominus Rex tournament. Oh, come on. Really? You're doing this. Friggin' doing this. And are we done? Yes. Finally, thank God. Praise Jeebus. Uh, no disorder, so... Um, yeah, was, I'm slowly, slow, I'd say maybe in a week I should have Indoraptor. I'm hoping minimum a week. Well, maximum, sorry. Minimum, I'd love a minimum a day. Minimum right now. But um, I don't think that's going to be the case. Wow, what is going on? The thing is, right, Ludi, Ludi don't want you to have books because that means that you can speed through the game super quick. So maybe they just make, maybe it's just really hard. Ooh, a light green orientation to the top. Interesting. Okay, so let's get it to level 30. Um, sorry, I didn't even check what it's level 20 stats were. Well, we will check. We'll check. Two seconds. Uh -huh, and there they are. So that so that's a level 10. Okay. Ooh, this would be interesting. If I was to take a screenshot of all of them and then lay them out. And you could have level 10, level 20, level 30, level 40. Ooh, you think we should do that? Like the, the Animorphs thing I did. Yeah, we should do that. Um, so that's level 10. <laughs> there we go. Boom, level 10. This is level 30. Boom. I mean, boom, this is level 30. Oh, sorry if you suffer from epilepsy. I'm so, I should warn you now. Look away for a second. And this is... um. Level 30. So, I mean, I'm assuming that it's probably going to have um, loads of uh, spikes on it. I don't know. Got a hunch. So, I mean, we've got eight. So that's enough to get us to a level 40. Just. Just level 40. So that was a load of bucks. If you if you have managed to win the Nodosaurus, do not do what I'm doing now. Save your bucks. Good lord, save them. Because... The, really, the reason why you want books is so that if you're, like, doing a tournament like this one was, and you're near the end, and 
you're so close, but you just, you do, you've got to buy, you know, spend bucks in order to get your dinosaurs back. The options there, really, that's what I found it to be the most useful for. Uh, okay. I did that loads of times and it was, it just wasn't letting me. It was like, no, you need to evolve. No, no, you, no you need to evolve. Yeah, you need to evolve. <laughs> so there you go. That's another level 30. Sorry, I didn't even check the stats of level 20. I My apologies. Level 30, 1,909 health and 596 attack. Pretty decent. Probably around about the stats of a level 40 legendary regular. So it's like, it goes like regular legendary up to level 40. And then after that, it that equates to a level 30 tournament. And then... A level 20 VIP is about the same. So just imagine that this, at the moment, is a regular legendary. Of course, it costs a lot more. So now we're going to evolve. Ooh. So this is basically, if it was a regular... Oh my god, if I can even get my words out. Come on, James. Focus, son. So uh, <laughs> regular legendary to be at this status would have to be level 50, which you can't get in the game, of course. Um, and how long does it take in the incubation? Eight hours. So, yeah, this is costing us a lot of books. I'm going to have to save up. Uh, and we've probably got another aquatic... Oh, you kidding me? We've got another aquatic creature, uh, ha like a tournament creature coming. So, tournament creatures take the longest in the incubators, uh, unfortunately. The ones that take the least time, of course, are commons and stuff like that. But um, the ones that are useful are VIPs. They speed up three hours. And you could do them, I think. That's how long they take. So, there you go. Level 40. Ooh! Ooh, I like it. A nice little row of spikes around the edge. And there you go. And what we could do as well, guys, we could have them go smaller, smaller, smaller. So it could get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, that'd be great. So there you go. If you want me to touch it, if you haven't already seen, it's the same sort of animation as Triceratops, I think. Triceratops does that sort of thing as well. Um, so there you go. And it costs a load of food, 2,700 health and 844 attack. Making it one of the best herbivores in the game. Because we don't really have too many, apart from Segnosuchus and maybe Stegoceratops and Apatosaurus. Probably, maybe Apatosaurus. I guess Apatosaurus has to be up there. Uh, and there you have it. So, what other rewards do we have? We don't even get to see. Notosaurus is a member of the family Ankylosauridae. This means it is related to the famous Ankylosaurs. And this one, woo! some books. Unlike the Ankylosaurus, the Notosaurus has no club on its powerful tail. And the final one, which gave us a hundred books. Jesus. And Notosaurus fossils were first discovered in 1889 in Wyoming. If, if I'm wrong, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that is a state. Or it is, is it a state? Could be, it's somewhere in America, okay? <laughs> so what is our situation? We are almost 300 super DNA away from Indoraptor. So uh, loads of legit people now are starting to get Indoraptor. Which sounds about right. Um, it was so funny because even like two months ago or something, people were like, oh, I got Indoraptor legit. And it's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Why even say that? Just admit it. I cheated, but you know, at least I've got it. <laughs> right. So we need to see it in action. Um, on the tides, is that? That is aquatic. No, I'm not going to do that. Rarity Rumble. <gasps> we have Diplotator. We could do this. So, you know what? We'll, we'll do this. Why not? Okay. So, let's reserve. Finally, level 40. I think I might have enough for Nundagosaurus level 40. Whoa. Ooh. Slow down there, son. So, we're going to go for two hits, one block, meaning that we've definitely survived the next attack. I know I said we're going to use um, Nodosaurus. We will. Don't worry. We will. Um, so, I'm wondering if we have... The unique dinosaurs, possibly in Jurassic World Alive, are in this game, and they all take super DNA. We've got and we've got Nodosaurus, Nodopatosaurus, and those, if I'm correct, go into um, Stegodus. I think they go in Stegodus, so possibly the super DNA we'll get is Stegosaurus DNA, making Stegodus, Stegodus a really good dinosaur. Possibly, possibly. Um, ooh, do I actually have that? No, it's a level 20 Nundagosaurus. So level 20 Nundagosaurus. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's gonna be over here, right? Nundagosaurus. Is it? I mean, if it's a, if it's a hybrid. Yeah, hey, there we go. Okay, so we can feed you up and feed you up. But I'm not spending books 
getting you because even if I do spend bucks, you're not that good. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, well, ooh. Um, not too great, if I've got to be honest. Even with Ophicodon. No, uh, you know what? I'm going to save that for another time. But for now, let's use Antarctic. Oh, no, the source. I keep going from Antarctic to Why do I do that? Uh, there it is. So in the lineup, it's better. Well, it's not. Apparently, it's not as good as Amargasaur um, in terms of tournament creatures because Amargasaur. Yeah, actually, Amargasaur is way better. It has a little bit more attack and 316 more health. Um, but it is better than Antarctic Pelter. Even, technically, a Patasaurus level 40. Even though a Patasaurus has almost triples the health. But because it's mainly based on attack, it's apparently not. Um, it's on par with Stiggy Morlock. Only level 20, though. And Dina Cheris only have level 30. So let's use Nodosaurus. Um, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll use Alumbia. Then Cerizinosaurus. And then... Then Nodosaurus. We are very outmatched, but... I'm going to bait off um, Alumbia. Again, I only have this guy level 20. Uh, a level 30 would be really good um, of this guy. So, for some odd reason, didn't decide to go all out for... Well, uh, switch out. So I can do this safe knowing that... Um, safe in the, in the knowledge of knowing I'm going to survive. So now I'm just going to go for four here. Four reserve. Uh, because Olympia, I mean, yes, it has the potential to kill you, Toraptor, at level 1026, but uh, Cerezone Source has a better chance of doing it. Um, and apparently, I'm gonna go for it. So, yeah, th there you go. And uh, doesn't do it. Oh, fantastic. Oh, great. <laughs> but it does 2,606 damage. Um, wow, we may lose. Oh my god, we might lose this. <laughs> no! Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Maybe Nodosaurus can do this hands down. So I'll go for one block, four reserves, and that was a lot. Go for four. If it goes to four, that's really good. Yes, okay. Nodosaurus could do it by itself. Well, you know, it had a little bit of help, but ooh, there it is. So one, two, three, four kills it. Um, and then let's go for two blocks, two reserve. I, oh God, that's 2000 attack on that Utah Raptor. Ooh, it's gonna do a lot of damage if it goes for four. A lot of damage, but we do 1,266 with the buff. Oh, there it is. Hey, yep. Okay, well, we can take one hit. So, we can go for three. One, two, three kills it. And then we have to go for three block. We have to. Because um, two hits kill. So, there you go. Double kill for the Nodosaurus. Awesome. And Lim Limerancus. Please go for four. Oh, no. No, what's it going to do? One, two, three. Oh, it blocks for more than... And that would have been us done. But we are clever and we exit out. Because we're like, come on, we're not ending like that. We can't we can't have spent all those all that DNA and all that books. Because actually that's something I wasn't looking at was how much DNA it was costing me. So I mean it's over 40, 46, 52, 58,000 DNA possibly. Maybe? I could be wrong. I feel like I'm wrong. Because it costs six thousand, didn't it? So it's probably 6,000 DNA times by 8. Oh my god. Uh, 12, 12, 24 times that. 48? 48,000 DNA it might cost? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll go for 3 block, 1 reserve. Because we know that he can't kill us in one hit. And he went for an all-out block. And he's um, doing strange things again. Okay, let's see what he goes for. And he goes for four block. Okay, that's great. Because we can exit out, go back in, go for three block and two reserve. And even if it blocks for four, it should be dead. No matter what happens here. So, I think they've sped up the loading. It used to be quite a big... I don't know if this is like a penalty. Just because you exit out and go back in. It's like, all right, stay on the loading screen. It used to take ages. But actually now saying that, I think it's just as long. Never mind. So, two reserves. Meaning that we have six... It, actually, no, we can't kill it. Depends what it does. Um, should we just pretend that it went for four block? Should we just pretend and just cut out the middleman? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so now we can kill it no matter what. So let's see what it does. Oh, and it just goes, sod it! Bah! Kills us. 
Why does everything sound like that, James? I don't know, okay? It's easy for my voice to go to. Ooh, wallop. 19,400 odd. So there you have it. Nodosaurus used and pretty darn decent. Um, again, if you manage to complete the, uh, what do you call it, the tournament? Congratulations, but do not put it and speed it up in the incubators. Just put it in, even fill out all the slots. Just just let them go, let them go. You can save yourself a cool, we're on 23,000 DNA, right? And even speeding up in the genetics. You don't have to do that. You could save, I mean, we are, we're, let's say we're on 8,000, we'll round it up, 8,000 DNA, uh, sorry, box, and we had 23,000 to start. That is a loss of 12,000 bucks just to max it up and get it to level 40 straight away. How crazy is that? Don't do that, guys. I've done it so you don't have to. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.